All right, so the reason is because there is a tarp over the fire pit so you can make a fire in the rain. How about that? How you like me now, Amazon jungle? What's up, Amazon survivors? This is KG48, and welcome back to a brand new Let's Play for Green Hell. That's right, guys. It's been a long time since I played Green Hell. I think I just like looked in my uh, my loaded games, and I think the last one I did was the end of 2018. Now, there's been two major updates. One where the uh, there's like a combat update, right, where the natives would be super aggressive and super tough. And then there was a mud update for more building. And the mud update's what I'm really interested in. You know what? Let's just get started. We're going to go ahead and welcome to the jungle. It's the middle difficulty level, the normal difficulty level. And uh, I just started a game today just to test it, but we're going to go ahead and override that. And we're going to start going. So for those of you who know what, a, what Green Hell is, Green Hell might be the most realistic survival game I've ever played. Um, actually, it probably is. Like, right up there with... Um, with the cold game, the the one that makes y'all cold and stuff. Uh, um, you know what I'm talking about. You know the the one with the cold, <laughs> the long dark. There you go, the long dark. Exactly. Um, yeah. So right up there with the long dark and Project Zomboid. I'm telling you. Well, well, Project Zomboid is zombies, so I guess that's not very real realistic. But other than the zombies, Project Zomboid is very realistic. So, uh, this might be the most realistic game I've ever played. Um, for survival. Uh, now, granted, I haven't played The Long Dark in many, many years. I played it way back in the day when it first like went into early access, and I, I want to get back to it at some point. But I keep, I you know, just busy, right? Anyway, so what we're gonna, be, what we're doing here, we're dropped in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. We're gonna get like a little bit of an intro here. If you want to play the intro, you can go ahead and play the intro. But I've already played it before. We're climbing up here. We, our wife's with us. Yada yada yada. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Mia? We're skipping the tutorial. She gets kidnapped or something. I don't freaking remember. Um, so yeah, we're gonna skip that. All right. If you want to go, if you really want to see all that, go back to my episode one of season one. I, you know, I play through the whole thing. All right. So we're dropped in the middle of the Amazon jungle here, and um, I have a place I want to stay. It's going to be an anaconda, anaconda camp. Uh, but to get to the anaconda camp, we have to get to a bridge and repair it first. Now, there's going to be many things we're going to have to watch out for. Um, first of all, we have to watch out for thirst. We have to watch out for hunger. But it's not just hunger, guys. Check it out. Not only do you have hunger, but you have protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Okay? You have to watch out for leeches. You're going to get sick. Look, vomit. How many times you vomit? You know, it's it's crazy game. It's a crazy game. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, start heading in the direction. I need the location for the uh, for the bridge. Um, so let me see if I can find that while I'm getting some stuff here as well. Now you gotta be careful, like, I'm actually gonna turn up my headphones a little bit. You gotta be careful, because if you get bit by a snake, it could be game over, you know? Um, snakes are gonna be the first big problem. Okay, so that's just a rock. So let's go ahead and drop that. And we're gonna right click on it and harvest it for, for, uh, sharp stones or whatever. Yeah, stones. And those are gonna be in your backpack right here, right? And then we need to get some wood. Um, I don't even remember how to, like, do the first set of stuff. We're just going to go ahead and get some stones because I know I need those. And the Bamboo Bridge is 37 West and 20 South. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on your watch. You hold down F to bring up your watch. If you want to switch what's on your watch, you mouse wheel. All right. So we're looking for 3720. Oh, wow. We're right here. 3720. So we need to go east and north. Northeast. 3720. All right, so we're going to go northeast. We're going to be looking for sticks along the way. Um, there's a there's a book right here. we got all kinds of stuff we can craft. Well, so far, only one thing we can craft. Um, I feel, honestly, I don't remember any of the crafting recipes, so that's not good. Uh, you know, we've got all kinds of stuff we can build. We'll get into that later. Um, oh, I know one thing I can do. I could take these and craft, craft, and then we can make ourselves a stone blade, and we can use the stone blade to uh, chop stuff down, right? And that's going to be in the number one spot. So what we're going to do is this stuff right here, keep a lookout for these yellow these yellow plants, man. These make bandages, and you are going to need a lot of these in this game. So once you break stuff down, you don't have to pick it up. It automatically goes in your inventory. You've got uh, where all your tools are. You've got, this is where your rope goes and sticks. This is where all of your um, crafting stuff goes. So we're going to go ahead and craft some Molinaria. I think it's called Molinaria. I used to call it Molera or Marsha, or I don't remember what I used to call it. I used to call it something. But we're going to go ahead and take the Molinaria and make some bandages. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And now let's... This is bamboo. Bamboo's not bad. I mean, I, I could get some bamboo. You can get some more Molinaria. You can make stuff out of bamboo. I just... 
I mean, I think he can. Honestly, it's been a while. It's weird that you can't hold down the button to attack stuff. That's, you know, like, look at this. Yeah, you, you can't hold down the button. I have to actually click it. What kind of crazy game mechanics are these? So we're going to break some of these uh, bamboo. And we're going to get a long bamboo stick. You can only pick that up. You can carry it. But what you could do is if you're not going to use that, you can right click on it and harvest it. And you'll get little bamboo thingamabobs. And uh, now I need some rope and I think I can make an axe. So rope is going to be on these big old fat trees. Let's make sure we're heading in the right direction. What did I say? 3720? Uh, All right. 3720. So we're going north east. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's keep going through here. And uh, yeah, I can sprint, but I'm not going to because it's not a good idea. All right. So. All right. We're gonna lift. The, we're gonna have to look out for jaguars and pumas and natives and you know some things you can eat, some you can't. It's kind of weird. I think you can eat any mushrooms in this game. Although don't quote me on that because I, I don't really remember. And that would be pretty weird if you could, right? I mean, uh, but the mushrooms seem pretty pretty safe-ish. All right. So oh, you got a big tree right here. So let's come up to this big tree. You really gotta listen in this game, man. Like, seriously. I'm super serious right now. I'm super serial. You've got to listen. Like, it's important. Oh, we got, a, we got a Piggly Wiggly over there. All right, so... I thought I heard a snake, too. All right. So these things right here, I believe these are the good ones. These should give you a tuber or something. And um, I think you can you can cook that up into something that's going to give you a massive amount of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a real son of a bee in this game. Uh, so you just wait for the stuff to disappear any second. And there we go. Unknown bulb. There you go. Now, it takes up a lot of room, too. So that's my food area. So I wonder if these pigs ever attack. Because now I'm, I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder. Because they seem to be making a lot of noise. And, uh, you know, it's kind of weird that they don't attack, right? Aren't they like boars? Maybe they're not boars. Maybe I'm just confused. I think we could chop this down. We can make a spear too, so let's do that. I, I know, I know. If you use regular wood, you can make a, you can make one. But you, I, I believe, I thought you could make a bamboo axe. You couldn't make a bamboo axe. That's never been a thing. Did I dream that up? I don't know. By the way, that right there is a dead bird. And sometimes when you see dead birds, you have to be careful because there could be a spider that is in the area. That I guess the idea is that the spider killed the bird. All right, I'm gonna drop these because again, I don't know what those are good for. There we go. We got an axe. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart as well. Harvest. And what we're looking for this is... This right here. We want that plank. That's the important thing. We could also pick up the sticks. There's no reason not to. Oh, okay. You know what? I think I can make a spear out of this, right? Now, I, I must need a sharp a sharp stone for that, right? Can we got a, a freaking... Spirit out of sharp stone, right? Actually, I think you can, but maybe I can make a better spear with the sharp stone. So if you got the long stick on the ground, you just go to craft. And we need some rope to lash that all together. There we go, stone spear. Cool. There you go. I think if you, I think if you did it without the um, without the stone, uh, it would just be a regular wooden spear, which is uh, that ain't gonna work for me. All right, let's see if we can pick up this bird. You gotta be careful. Again, you gotta watch out for those uh. We gotta make sure we're going the right way too. What was it? I don't remember. Thirty-seven twenty. Okay, so we gotta go south, southeast. Thirty-seven twenty. Okay, so southeast. More east than anything. All right, let's pay attention where we're going and stop stop crafting stuff for a little bit. I'll pick that up. Oh, little sticks. There's two kinds of sticks. So, the big sticks. Uh, I think the little. I don't even really know what the little sticks are used for, really. Kind of, I guess, just for fire. They're probably used for things that I'm just not thinking about. Again, I haven't played this game since... God, man, it's been like... What are you, on the fourth month of the year? It's been four months. Man. Unbelievable. Okay. Alright, 37. Oh, we still gotta go more south. Oh, we gotta go more south. Southeast. Right? Southeast. South's gotta go up. East uh, will bring the other one down. So yeah, this it's got to be in this direction. Oh, here we go. We got some uh, tribal village. Oh, that's right. I forgot there was actually um. Oh, not good. That is not good. 
That are natives. I forgot there was natives by the broken bridge. I've been through the broken broken bridge before. I just forgot there was natives there. So, how do we want to handle this? Do we want to try and just repair the bridge and get across it right now? Or do we want to make a little camp here? The thing is... Until I make a camp, I can't save. I'm going to try and get across the bridge. I think. <laughs> now, you got to repair the bridge. That's the thing. That's the sucky part. But I don't think it's like super... Super expensive or anything. Alright, so... Is that bamboo? That's bamboo, right? Oh yeah, that's bamboo. Okay, so we need some bamboo logs. Oh, that's right. And all the bamboo is right next to the freaking... Oh, what do I got? Am I dirty? I think I'm dirty. Yeah, I'm dirty. So how does that affect you? See, that's new. The whole dirty thing is new. See, so you can look right here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm assuming I'm going to have to clean myself pretty soon. But we're not going to worry about... Ah! Ah! No! Do not kill me, you piece of crap. Uh, uh, get up there, you idiot. Where is it? Where is it? Did you hear it? Freaking Puma, Jaguar, whatever the hell you are. Go attack the natives. What's your problem, bro? Oh, man. So that's odd, because normally I would have been dead as a doornail by now. Um... So, yeah. Ugh. I don't like this. The chances of me getting across that bridge right now is uh, pretty slim. And I'm not going to lie. It's pretty slim. Because we need to come over here for some bamboo. Actually, I don't even see the bamboo. Is it really that far away? I thought it was closer than that. Uh. Alright, you piece of crap. You want to dance? We'll dance. Oh, snake! Freaking piece of... God, freaking jungle! How did we ever survive in this? He, I'm being stalked. I, I'm being stalked. Where is he? I wonder if it was the pig. I wonder if it was the pig the whole time. Eh, this, game, this game will do that to you, man. It'll make you jumpy as hell. I hope it was the pig, although I'm going to feel like an idiot if it was, but I'd rather feel like an idiot and be alive. Alright, let's find some bamboo. My goodness. Dude, seriously. Seriously. I can't take this. I can only take so much. I've got a trick on how to carry a lot of bamboo. But I don't know if it's been fixed, so we'll see. If it's if it hasn't if it if it has been fixed, I'm gonna be sad. All right, guys. Uh, like I said last time I played this, the bamboo was in that camp by the uh, by the villagers, the natives. So we're gonna go on up there and see if we can find it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's what. Maybe we won't be crossing the bridge soon. I thought we'd be able to cross the bridge on episode one. I guess not. By the way, if you chop this tree down, you get a nice. Uh, a nice um, carbohydrate treat. But uh, I'm not going to do it right now because I got more important things to deal with. Yeah, I don't have I don't have what I need for this. And I don't see any bamboo over there either. Oh, there it is. I knew there was bamboo over here. Oh, freaking as I walk into bees. God damn it. Unbelievable. Now what do I do? I don't, I'm not sure what to do. I've never walked into bees before. Now I can wrap up the part. But I don't know if... Uh, I think you need some kind of ointment on it or something, right? But I don't know what it is. So. Alright, whatever. I'm just not going to worry about it. Can't be that important. Chop this down. Now we need at least four of these. I think you need eight total. Alright guys, it is the middle of the night. I am at the uh, bridge. I slept through the night. Um, as soon as it's daytime, or when I have some light, I will show you what's going on. But right now, I'm going to show you how to start a fire. So remember that... Um, remember that big wood piece I had? I combined it with a piece of... I, I combined the big board with a stick, and it made a hand drill. So we're going to go ahead and use that now. Now, we, once you get down here and you start doing the hand drill thing, you want to take this um, dry leaves. Basically, you break up, like, foliage, and you'll get these uh, small leaf piles, and eventually they'll dry out. You can also get dry leaves from places like bird's nests and other some other places, but um, yes. I didn't see any yes. bird's nests. So, so we're going to go ahead and start this fire. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and harvest this. He might be no good anymore. Food spoils in this game, obviously. Uh, no, he's good. All right, good. So now we're gonna do is we're gonna put some food on the old fire. Food can burn, so you don't want to leave it there. Um, I'd also like to do the unknown bulb. Now I usually cook this into a stew. Um, so let's see. I uh, I went ahead and grabbed a um. A coconut and I broke it in two halves. I ate it, drank out of it, broke it in two halves. Um, then you put it on the ground and it'll collect rainwater. Okay. Um, the problem is if it starts to rain, my fire is going to go out. So, so we're going to dump that rainwater in here. We're going to bring this over here. I hear thunder, but I don't see rain yet. And we're going to put this on the fire as well. Uh, once there's room. And it looks like the food is just about done cooking. And then what we'll do is we'll put that on there. And then you could put the bulb into the into it and make soup. So that, that would be uh, quite nice. So we're going to go ahead and put that right there. Take the food off. And put that in the soup. And then that'll cook up. And then we'll just cook the last piece of meat. And, you know, we're off to a good start here. I definitely want to get to my camp today. You know, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I also made this thing right here. This is just, uh, if you press N and go into this menu and you go to a little housing thing down here, it's a, a hut shelter. And if you make that, you could go ahead and look up and you can save your game. And that's how you're going to save your game. Now, I did find some bamboo. It was over there, like I thought. It was right by uh, a camp of natives. But I snuck in, got some bamboo. Not enough. We're going to have to get some more. But, you know, we're definitely going to get some more bamboo. So... Do I need the carbohydrates? I, oh God, I don't. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. I don't. Even, I don't think it'll burn, but I'm gonna take it off anyway. Um, what, what? Just need water? Well, it'll still give me hydration, but man, we need more water. That's not good. It's not raining that much. Not as much as I thought. Um, where's that other coconut half? I don't know where it was. Oh, let's take this. Let's harvest this big stone. So my guy is really thirsty. This is a problem. I might just drink that soup just just to you know get the hydration. All right, guys, so it started raining, so we're just going to go ahead and drink this so that thing starts filling up with water because I need more water. And by the way, the other coconut half is in my inventory or inventory, depending on how you like to say it. So there we go. So we're going to get some uh, stuff from that. I'm going to drop these leaves. They'll, they'll turn into uh, dry leaves on the ground, even in the rain. And I'm, I also don't want the feathers on me. Okay. So now what we're going to do, fellas, is we're going to save the game. And we're going to go back to that cannibal camp and get the rest of that bamboo. I want to get over there to our anaconda uh, anaconda village base uh, today, for sure. Oh, there, there's one other thing I wanted to get. I saw a nut over here, but I wanted to grab it on camera for you guys. The nut is really nice because it does fats. Fats is, a, is another tough one sometimes, but not right now. It's not. Before we get going, though, let's just grab some quick drink. We need to make a, a Biden or a Badone, however you want to say it. Um, so we're going to need more, we're going to need more, uh, coconuts. So, uh, and you might think the saving is excessive. Eh, maybe it is, but I don't like wasting time if I get killed. So let's come on down here and let's, uh, see what we got going on. So I think, I think we want to, uh, we got some leeches on us. And the way you do leeches is you hold down C and then you go to the, um, the, uh, the inspect and then you look, right? Oh, I don't see any leeches, right? Well, if you open up your bag, I think, right? Isn't it if you open up your bag and then you look, then it, like, pops up on screen for you easier? No. I don't know if that's they fixed that or what. Yeah. There was a way to make the leeches pop up where, you you know, it'd be, they'd be much easier to spot. But maybe they fixed it because they thought it was lame. But I don't know. All right. So there will be some bamboo up here. So I think we need um, a total of how many more logs? Five. Freaking spiders, man. Ugh. I like spiders in my home because they keep out other bugs, but I only if I don't see them. You know what I mean? It's like, you could be here and get rid of all the bugs for me, but if I see you, you're getting mashed. So make sure I don't see you. That, that's, that's the agreement we have with the spiders in my household. So. All right. Oh, what is that? Oh, actually, I think that I think that fruit's okay, but I think you have to cook it. Yeah, yeah, this fruit's definitely okay. You might not even have to cook it, but I'm gonna cook it anyway, just to make sure. So I think we have to go more up here. Oh wait, no, it's down here. Yep, see the bamboo. You see the bees? 
Stay away from the bees. Freaking bees. Shh. Oh, be quiet. Be quiet. Shh. Alright. Ducking, swinging doesn't really seem to work that well. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. No, there's nothing going on here. Nothing going on here that you have to see. Alright, I got a trick I can do to carry six of these at once. But you know what? I don't have time. We got a GTFO. Ah, I'll show you the trick. We'll, co we'll put them over here and then we'll go get the other three. Oh, bananas! Bananas! We got some nanas! F yeah, people. F yeah. And I'm st I gotta look out for coconuts. I'm not looking out for coconuts. Because I'm kind of preoccupied with the danger. Where are the rest of them? We gotta get three more. Three more. Okay, and three. Three's the most you can carry like this. But there's another way to carry more. And I'm gonna show you how. Because it's awesome. So you go to, you go to uh, craft. And then you just drag them all up here. Now, I think that with the weight mechanic now, this is not infinite like it used to be. But, it's good enough. Now we just have to try not to walk into anything dangerous when we can't see where the hell we're going. Oh, there's the bush! I think this is the thing that cures you from the snake bite. I could be wrong, though. Could be wrong. Uh, tobacco leaves. I Honestly, I don't remember. Let's go ahead and repair this thing. Come on. There we go. Let's go ahead and save the game because, uh, yeah. So I feel like an idiot because earlier when I thought it was a cougar or jaguar, that, yeah, it was just a pig. Just a pig. I heard a noise and I freaking freaked because, you know, that's the way I roll. Oh. Can we put those in there? No, I don't want to go any farther because I might fall. Actually, I could probably put those on without putting down the logs, but what else? All right, guys. We just finished the old bridge, so that is awesome. It actually took three sets of bamboo things so i have to go get some more so that kind of sucked but what are you going to do uh the only thing i'm really going to take from this camp is these coconut bowls uh, i don't really see anything else i really care too much about um so let's go across i just saved as well and i, I got parasites um i ate while i was while my hands were dirty and i got parasites because you know wash your hands kids you know let this let this be a lesson for you learn from kj for its mistakes Right, anytime you come into a cave like this, I always got to watch out for uh, for scorpions. Because why not? Actually, I don't even know if this is a real deal cave, but I'm going to watch out for scorpions anyway. They're really hard to see, by the way. You'll hear them before you see them. Oh, here's all the bamboo. Of course. Of course. So there's a specific uh, area I'm looking for over here. Um, we're now in, like, one of the newer areas. This was uh, part of the water update, I believe. And uh, there's a new danger you have to watch out for here. Um, and that is crocodiles. Or alligators. I don't, I don't, I don't know which one they are. Uh, really quiet here, though. There's going to be an island over here I can build on, which has already got, like, a lot of stuff set up. All right. Could be a spider somewhere. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of these parasites. I'm looking for mushrooms, by the way. Um, to get rid of the parasites. I probably already passed some. It should be, yeah. Sounds like something I would do. Uh, oh, God. Uh, you idiot, Cage. Seriously? What do I, what do I need to um, deal with ants? I just walked into some ants. Because I'm a dumbass. I'm going to keep the leaf pile, actually. I'm thinking maybe tobacco dressing i don't know you never know let's give it a shot i don't think it'll let up i don't think it'll let you put the dressing on if it's not gonna work so let's try no so you can't yeah damn it all right so all right let's come through here again we're looking for a big area with like open water and then there's gonna be like a um uh there's gonna there's gonna be like a 
It's just a big island in the middle of it. It's really cool. All right, no more space in my backpack. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, be careful. Be careful, Cage. I think I need honey. Honey. To fix my, uh... My ant rash. <laughs> my ant rash. I could go back to those bees' nests, but... They're pretty far away at this point. Should I follow this water? I don't know. I know what I'm looking for, I just don't remember how I got there. Because, like, you know, it was, it was, I did the water update a long time ago. All right, guys. Um, I just picked some mushrooms that I think might help with my parasites. Maybe. I'm just gonna start eating stuff till parasites go away. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, let's eat them all. The hell with it. There's some kind of mushroom that helps with your parasites. I'm just not sure which one it is. All right, so I'm looking for 30. Oh, I th I found it. Never mind. That's the island right there. There's two ways I can get to it. There's a spot over there I can get over there, but I think it'd be better to go this way. Ow. God, I feel like I just fell. Get out of the water, dude. What are you doing? This guy's all of a sudden like, Oh, I'm f I've fallen in the water in like a foot of water. I can't get out. It's hopeless. Yeah, we gotta watch out for crocodiles. That's for damn sure. I did see... When I used to live here, I used to see more crocodiles over there, which is why I'm going this way. And this is going to be a fantastic place to live, by the way. Uh, assuming I can get over there. There's going to be stuff built already, so I should be able to save right away. Oh, aren't there lilies in here? Lilies will definitely cure parasites. Uh, dude, there used to be lilies in here. What? I thought there was. Maybe... I'm going to have to look for them. Let's save first. And here we go, guys. That's why they call it the Anaconda Camp. Look at that sucker. Cool. Uh, so where do I save? I think I save right here. There we go. Now let's see if we can find some lily, pa lily pad thingies. They used to, um, they used to be in the water. I, I don't know. I'm surprised I don't see any. Stone ring. I just learned a, a recipe, by the way. Oh, wow. That's so weird they're not in here anymore. Alright. Well, fair enough. Oh, I got some leeches. Take care of those. Get out of here, you freaking leech. Okay, so one of my things just wore off. I don't know what it was. What was that? The bee stings? So now we still have the parasites to worry about. All right, guys. So I am really thirsty. Uh, and there's a turtle over here. So we're going to make use of the turtle. So what we're going to do is we are going to hit the turtle. He's going to go in a shell. And when he goes in his shell, we're going to kind of cut him out of his shell. It's pretty, pretty gross. You might want to look away. Um, actually, it's not that gross. The idea of it is gross, but it doesn't actually show too much. Um, so we get hit him. He goes in his shell, and that's not going to save you. That's not going to save you, my friend. So, now the cool thing about the turtle is we get the meat. But the cooler thing about the turtle is we get the shell. And the shell can hold, I think, 20 or 30 units of water. I forget how much. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to camp. I put down some, um... I put... Oh. Uh, oh, uh, maggots. Maggots are used for stuff. I forget what. Um, but yeah, we got a big old fire here, too, which is nice. We got a bunch of, uh, coconut balls. And we're going to put this down to grab some water. Um, and we are really having a problem with thirst here. So we got to wait for... I mean... Um, oh, okay. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. This will be even better. This will be even better. You got to watch out when going over to the water, by the way. Um, because I have been attacked by crocodiles. Oh, there's also um, a prawn trap in here where you can get some prawns. Uh, what is a prawn? I don't know. It's like some kind of like fish. Uh, can I dump this in there? No, I can't. So how do I do this? Oh, that's right. I need a bedone. Damn it. Uh, is there any way to do this? Wait, I should be able to dip this in there. That's kind of weird. I can't. Maybe I can do it with the coconuts. What we really need is a bedone. So if we get a coconut, we can make a bedone, Biden, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Drop it in there? Yeah, now it's got water in it. That's kind of... Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop that in. You should be able to just, like, have a little thing... Like a little icon that allows you to like scoop the water out. You shouldn't have to drop it in the water. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing it. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and start the fire. Uh, we don't have any uh, dry leaves to start the fire. We got some spoiled fish here. That's not for me, though. Got an egg. We can make some boiled eggs. Why don't we go ahead and uh, chop up all these leaves, and then uh, we're going to wait until they dry out and start a fire. All right, guys, I just paused the video because I accidentally drank dirty pond water. So let's see what happens. Nothing? Really? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but... All right, so I don't think this is going to get water here. So let's bring it out here. Now you might be saying, Cage, why won't that get water there? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. And I know the video is dark. We're going to have to cut the video. I'm not going to be able to uh, make a fire for this video um, here. I'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. There we go. All right, so the reason is because there is a tarp over the fire pit so you can make a fire in the rain. How about that? How you like me now, Amazon jungle? All right, guys, you know what? It's dark, and these leaves are taking way too long. I don't think we're going to get to this today. So um, let me just call this one here. If you want to see more of this game, if you love this game, let me know by uncaging the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos and leave some comments, you know, uh, with tips or just telling me how many, how much you want to see a 100-part Let's Play of this game. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'm going to call this one here. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.